What's up guys, it's your boy Turnbuster65. I'm back up in this. I'm not even going to tell you which day I'm playing this on. I'm going to take you, I'm going to make you take a guess. Love how I just stumbled my words there as soon as I... <laughs> I was trying to tell you something. But yes, I'm back over here. From a small recap, if you haven't seen the other episodes, this is basically the Goosebumps game released by Scholastic back in 2015. It's essentially a little point and click horror adventure where you're a kid going through what essentially is a Goosebumps story here of a moving van that crashes with Goosebumps memorabilia. Some person has apparently built this house in front of what used to be your house. Now you must discover what the heck happened to it. You can't die in this game, as in any point and click horror you can. Just not any quick time events though. Well. Anywho, you're standing on the porch of a classic haunted house. The boards creak underneath your feet, and the wind whistles through the bare branches of a nearby tree. Very spooky. They seem like the same rickety porch stairs you've always had, but when attached to this peculiar house, a particular house rather, they seem more sinister. Uh, you telling me? The door is twice as big and easily three times as ornate as it should be. You wonder if your house key will still work. Do I have a house key? No, I have a locker key, so I'm not gonna do that. The window kinda looks like someone screaming. Maybe mom is going all out for Halloween this year? I think my phone is over here indicative of how many hints or calls I can make. So once I use them all up, I'll have to go to a charger. Hmm. Someone tells me I shouldn't open those windows just yet. But the window kind of looks like someone's screaming. Okay, so it's just, okay, I got you. Hmm. Hmm. I can move the door. Interesting. You struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. Might as well try your house key. Well, I don't have it, so... I guess I'll have to go back. Yeah. Can I? You walk to the window and attempt to slide it open. It won't budge. Okay, so it's not even openable anyway. You hop down the steps and head back to the street. So, from here... Yep. I can go to the back side of this. And I can also use the directional buttons instead of pointing over here, clicking R2 to move somewhere. So I'm going to do that for this particular instance. You creep along the side of your fence into the backyard. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat. A peaceful, quiet blanket the enclosure. Jesus, I should have drunk some water or something beforehand. But let me look at my little sandbox. You don't play in a sandbox anymore, and that is not your truck. Are kids coming in here and using your sandbox? Hmm. Ah, the good old tire swing. You've got a lot of memories tied up in this wheel of fun. Ah, so it's your childhood is right here, and as you're growing up as a teenager and then eventually adulthood, that's kind of sad to recognize. I don't know, I've never had a backyard growing up, but I've always lived in apartment complexes and the first one I lived that had this nice area of grass where me and the other kids usually played football and at times we did, I remember one time we kind of did baseball, we had a ball and someone had a swing and <laughs> yeah, and I also used to go to the gym over there as a kid on numerous occasions actually for my mom. Fun times. Just a grill? Get out of here! This is a Charmeister Elite Ultimate Grilling System. I was about to call it a Charmander, I'm not gonna lie. A Charmeister. Okay. Alright, so instead of forming grills, we got Charmin Grills. Or Charmin Grills, yeah. Let's just go with that. Charmin Grills. Oh, the back door. This door leads to the laundry room slash mudroom in your house. So can I go inside of it? Wait, can I also... I can't take something. You brush off the dirt and tuck the spade into your things. The spade? Wait. Oh, I can interact with each one of these? Interesting. That tiny T-Rex is ferocious looking. Who's been playing dinosaurs back here? You slip the dinosaur toy into your pack 
It might be usable later. Okay. You don't play in a sandbox when... Oh, right. That's the truck I did. Right. You dump the truck into the bag with the rest of your stuff. Okay. Got you. Wait. A spade. That's what... Don't they call that a shovel? Ah, I can't go to the back door. Gotcha. The door should lead right into the laundry room, but it's locked. Hmm. And it takes a different key. What if, perchance... Okay. There you go. Just want to go here. Let me use directional buttons for this. What if I use that on this? That is your locker. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure. Alright, so let me go back. So it looks as if I can't progress anywhere from here. Hmm. So I, I definitely got to go back. Can I go? No, I can't do it in the neighbors. Hmm. Try the mailbox. You shouldn't open other people's mailboxes. Yours is on the end. Okay. You open your mailbox, hoping there's something in there for you. Ah, okay. Well, we got mail and stamps. It's a letter, but it's addressed to someone you've never heard of. Must be a past resident. It's a sheet of coupons from the local Dairy Freeze. Ah, Dairy Freeze. <laughs> I get it. You make a note to go there this week. So let's take the coupons. You slip the coupons into your bag. You take the letter out of the mailbox. Okay, so we got we got a letter and some coupons. It's a letter from your mailbox. Okay, can I use... You consider opening the letter, but decide that will be wrong, since it's not addressed to you. Cash dig it. Alright, fine. <sighs> you want to be such a good boy, okay. Shut the mailbox. So, let's go back. Back into the wash. Oh, yeah, this area here. Okay, so... I think I know the first place to go to is to go either to the shed or back to Mixtuli to inquire about the dog. So, yeah, okay, yeah, right, 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 so, I don't think I can do anything with there, I don't think the shrunken head is gonna help me there, I don't think this trowel is gonna, the spade, excuse me, this, I think, what British people call a trowel, hold on, apologies for that interruption there, let's continue back on to this, so, I might take a use this dig for stuff. I don't think anywhere here is somewhere I could dig on. Ah, uh, hell, pipe opening. Ah, uh, yeah. I think there's anywhere I could do. Good. Did I go inside this tree already? Right, right, right. Did maybe someone else found them? Right, the marbles. Hmm. Okay, so let me go back here into the pipe tunnel. Let's see. What if I use this? On the hole over here. You let go, watch as the flyer vanishes into darkness. Oh! Ship! So I can just toss stuff down here? Oh god. Gently toss a note into the blackness. Wait, uh, hold on. I don't know what the hell my mom was doing back. Ah, oh, Jesus. Let me go quit the game and go back, because I feel like I'll need those. What the? Oh, goodness. Hold, hold the freak on a second. I know this is going to be a little bit annoying, but... Alright. So, let me just... Frick. What did I even do? Alright. Okay, let me go back here. Let me pick up the freaking toys. So the black hole is just something I can I can just move, yeah. Okay. So take this. Take this. Let's search. You force your hands to the dirt root around. It's cool to the touch, but you aren't finding anything of interest. But what if I use the spade on the What if I use this on the sandbox? You should have the spade and ineffectively. Ineffectually. Turns out there are some problems too big for a shovel to solve. Okay. That's fair. Let me save here. I feel... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, right. So I gotta go back here and get the freaking stuff in the mailbox. Okay. Take. Take. Alright. And then go back out. Hmm. I wish there was a fast travel, but you gotta... Fortunately, you gotta... 
virtue everywhere, so that's how it is. Ooh, far in the woods, right. So I can go back into my neighborhood, and the lady is probably over there. Hmm. I can also go back towards the school. Let's go to the neighborhood first, actually. Just to see if anything's changed. Okay. Consider hmm. opening a letter. Okay, right, right, go. So that's just opening the letter. Anything new about the van? Hmm. Yep, stuff still seems that disturbed. Hmm. I don't think anything in my inventory would relate towards any of these things, so yeah, let me go let me just go back all the way to the school. And we're just gonna go from there. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Weird guy is still over there doing his thing. What if I offered it a rose? You hold a rose in front of your face and breathe deeply do your nose. Ah. Grape soda. Why, why grape soda? It's a blue rose. Why do you think of grape soda? Why wouldn't you smell blueberry or something? Weird kid. Wait a second. Wait, why is my phone... Uh, what the frick? Excuse me? Uh, ro raggy A very large creature has appeared in the clearing. It seems to be grinning as it rubs its front paws together excitingly. It's a very large furry creature. You find it hard not to notice its rows of glistening razor sharp teeth. I don't know. Should I, should I save it here or... Dino! Go attack! The canopy. What the frick? Yep. Oh! Ah! You hold the toe dino for a moment before the beast swipes it away. Chuckling, he swipes away your arms too. That's funny. Looks like you lost your game with the beast from the east. Don't feel too bad. It's a high level adversary. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I don't f with beast. Okay. So. Alright. There's a very interesting creature there that. Hmm. I definitely do not have the tools for, so. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna go back to the bridge and traverse from there. Definitely seems there's something to do during that tree over there, but hey. I'm not gonna mess around and find out, huh? <laughs> the time you should. The wind's picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks sting from the cold. Oh, that's over from earlier. Let's see. I don't think I can. Right. No, okay. No, let's see. So I'm gonna go back to the school. Let's see what we can find. What can we find in the school? I don't think I can go to the trash. Yep. Alright, so. <sighs> Alright. So let me do this. Wait, wait, uh. Let me use this on a classroom. You hold out the flyer. Have you seen this dog? Nope. Ah, uh, frick, why? Can I open a locker? Breaking into someone else's locker is a serious offense. You spent enough time at school today without adding detention. Okay, fair. You'll check it out tomorrow. It's home. Bro, where else do I go? You're trapped. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Wait, 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 wait. The door opens slowly, as if trying to trap you. You push hard, barely squeeze it through the opening to emergence. Okay. Yeah, my phone went down a battery, so let me... Hold on, let me dial up the map. Alright. Okay. There's a big spooky tree, which now has that thing in there. So I gotta do something about that. What do I do? Oh, what do I do, though? Hmm. What if I use... Okay, let me save here. Sure. What if I use the weed killer on this flower? Alright. You aim the weed killer carefully. Alright, okay, I gotcha. I'll say I can't use the weed killer on the thing. Uh, shrunken head. Hmm. Okay, truck, coupons. 
I don't know what to do. What the frick? What would I do? I mean, the black hole feels as if you could just toss things down there, so... Hmm. There gotta be something to do with that. Gross. Oh, no. Right. Okay. It was something... Oh, no. What the frick is a slime? Slime's not normal. Your mind races with thoughts of alien invasion and zombie drool. What could it be? You must have some courage, courage and go in for a closer look. Oh, it's just someone's old milkshake. Really, really old milkshake. Okay. Where the frick would I go from here? What would I... Ah. Maybe... Encyclopedia. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I use it on... Do I use it on my phone? Slam a shop as hard as you can. Hmm. So that's gotta do something. The flyer. Huh. Ah, what the frick would I? Okay, let me go back here. All right, I know that that's the path where there's now the frickin'. There's this mother lover here. It's just Jay chilling. Hmm. Woods exit. It's the neighborhood. The moving van. I feel like I gotta go back to somewhere. House. The side yard. Hmm. Particularly interested in conversation. What if I use stuff around him? The old truck and head for, and it feels vibrating slightly in your hand. It's the man. Also, note, but doesn't, but it doesn't very fly very far. Rather than litter, you scoop it back up. Okay. If I use my phone on the man, your cell phone remains. Okay. Yep. Okay. What the shoe. Hold the sneaker aloft and wave it around. The laces whip in all directions. That's it. Okay. I don't think I got anything to... What if I do the dino? Rawr! The toy makes cool sounds when you shake it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think... Alright, let me just go over here just to see if I can at least talk to this motherfucker. Okay? You're it! The beast shouts. I excited to play game. Can't wait. So hungry. Let me leave. You turn ahead back. We are into the clearing of woods. Okay. Uh, okay, let me let me call someone. I need a hint. What the fuck? You dial 411, hoping for some information on what's going on. A chirpy voice begins to play. Thank you for calling information. Due to an unexpectedly large call volume, all our operators are busy. Please use an other automated system to seek out the answer to your question. Gosh. Uh, have you considered your control options lately? Life can be more fulfilling than pointing with the cursor and selecting the options for a drop down. Child in between areas is breeze, you press and hold directional buttons. So, okay. Got you. Okay, hang up. You get tired of hacking through the phone tree and hang up. You can always call later again if you have any questions. What? Uh, Mom? Brother? Hold on. I need one of you. Mom. Please. Call your mother. The phone rings twice before she picks up. Oh, I was just about to call you, be a bother. You do remember we keep our spare key under the porch, right? Oh, of course you do. You're not baby anymore. Sorry, hun. She hangs up. Oh, my goodness. Why do you keep the key under the freaking porch? Are you, are you crazy? Are you god dang mine, you freaking hag? Alright, well, I had to use a cheat. Alright. At least the game does that for you. Cause god dang, I had no clear clue where to go for direction. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. Underneath the porch. Let's see. Uh. Let's see. House keys around back. You should try that before completely. Around the back? But you said the porch! Th this is not the porch. It's the backyard! Oh. This area? You crouch down and lean your head under the porch. For a better look. See, to me, the porch is okay. 
No, I was growing up and yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. I, I think I'm thinking of a front porch and up there the back porch. Okay, gotcha. All right. You pick up the cola can and shake it, listening as a spare key clanks around inside. After a moment, it falls out. <laughs> All right. You take the spare key. Back out of the hole and stand up. Okay. Thank you, porch that I obviously didn't look at. This wooden fence keeps the yard safe and enclosed. You're glad to have it with that crazed poodle in the area. So now I can go back, retreat here. Yep, I know. Now I can go back. All right. Uh, yep. uh, hold on. The phone still looks good. So let me save here. And then let me do this. Use this house key, pointed entrance. You slip your house key into the lock and cross your fingers. You turn the key, and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. You pull open a heavy door and enter the house. This is without a doubt not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get this dirty. You could smell the dust and decay in the air. The frick? It's dark, but you think you can make out a dining room through the arched doorway. What's, what's the status of my phone? Okay. Still got, what, four bars? It's four bars of battery. Okay. The door stands stoically shut. You can feel a strange energy around it and assume it's locked for the time being. Alright, that's the way back. The staircase leads to the second floor. Okay. Strange portraits hanging on the wall. They don't have anyone you recognize. Gotcha. Okay, so... And look at this table. A small end table. It looks like a prop from a haunted attraction. Uh, I bet it is more than a prop. <laughs> this, is only, this is the only element of the room that belongs in your house. Mom loves coat racks for some reason, even though company rarely uses them anymore. Ah, uh, don't judge her for that. Just a little child. Anywho, let me save here. This game loves saving, so I'm going to be a save state horse and save a lot here. You nervously ascend the stairs to rooms unknown. The staircase connects the first and second floors of the house. Okay, more portraits. Never seen this portrait before. Looks like a crazy, creepy sea captain. Maybe it's grandpa before you were born? Probably not, okay. You can't shake the feeling something is missing from this paint, painting. Well, obviously a head, but we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves. Speaking of, we have a head. You hold the shrunken head for it. No, okay. Wait, I can do this. It's really ranks 95 out of 100 on the slideability scale, but you know it's far too dangerous. These stairs are the correct stairs. You can see all the familiar chips where your toys left their marks over the years. Okay. Still the same staircase. Privileged. Sorry. A little girl, maybe? She looks a little old for the rest of the picture. Who picked these out? Okay. I can go up here. Alright, gonna look more here. This hallway leads away from the stairs above the entryway. Alright. You tromp up the stairs into the first hallway. You stand in the upstairs hall, which seems relatively untouched. You don't say. I can get a look at a chandelier. Sometimes at night, the, this light flickers. It's the creepiest thing. Alright, alright, okay, you, you can... Okay, I feel like I should lighten the mood a little with the lights, but... I think... No, 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 we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do a couple more minutes, and then I'm get more comfortable, turn the lights off, and... Screw it, we're gonna do a record marathon, where I'm just going to record a buttload of this game, and be done. But a familiar family photo is comforting. It's also comforting is that noise there. This leads into your bedroom, just like it should. That door leads into the guest room, but something is blocking the door. The study is through here, where Dad keeps the family computer. Man, I got a study room, a guest room, and your own bedroom? I'm jealous, man. I've never lived inside a two-story house in my life. 
The only exceptions are the times I slept over at my grandmother's. And that's about it. Hmm. Let me go into my bedroom. It's, it won't open. Mom's right. It is annoying when somebody locks your bedroom door. Okay, so both of these doors are locked. So maybe... Dad's study is locked. Like it always is when he's out of town. The key should be around somewhere. Hmm. I always thought this end table was a bit spooky looking. But compared to the stuff you've seen today? Not anymore. Hmm. Yep, just nowhere there. It's just a portrait, so... I guess we can only go back. When it's into the first step, you walk backward down the stairs. Alright, yep. I guess we can... Wait, we can go to the right? There's a right and a left hall. Okay, fine. You turn to the top of the stairs, heading across the landing. So let's get those... Oof. Very ominous. This hallway crosses over the entryway downstairs to the furthest reaches of the house. Meanwhile, this little smog over here is just ever so present. <laughs> this railing is the only thing between you and a broken arm in the room below. Yeah, you really don't say. Okay, can we look at these walls? Okay, I guess the wall frame works. Records of your family's many adventures. Somehow, adventure always means hours in a car. <laughs> uh, hmm, the kids in these photos look strangely familiar. Reminds me of the times that my mom would drive me down to North Carolina or the many adventures she would take me to go to one store and it ends up being three or four stores. Same case with my grandmother. Excuse me? Door? Weird. Normally this hallway ends with a hatch up to the attic. Some kind of force has locked the master bedroom. There must be some important stuff in there. Okay. Let me save again. Let's see. You pass through into the next room. Dodging a bit of falling plaster as you pass through the door. Oh. This is a dead end. The hatch in the ceiling should lead to the attic. Okay. This pipe is the only notable feature of the room. There are several rusted areas. It seemed better dazed. What the frick is this? If you didn't know any better, you'd swear the walls just moved. And no, oh gosh. A small hatch in the ceiling leads to the act above. It's too high to reach unaided. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I try to do this. The attic door is too high to reach. Okay, fine. You're dull grinding all around you. Is it coming from the walls? Alright, let's just get back. You leave the room. This hallway crosses over the entryway. Yep. Alright, so we're just gonna go back. Yep, let's just back that ass up mm-hmm mm-hmm back to the first floor okay I think this is a good point to stop the episode at thank you guys for watching like this video subscribe to become a trend today let's get on this recorded train baby